It starts the moment you start the car. An experience that's distinctly Volkswagen. The quick acceleration, the sense of control, the car's surprising responsiveness as if it were simply an extension of you. There is a word for this driving experience. Farfetch-Nugan. Farfetch-Nugan. It's what makes a car a Volkswagen. In case you've ever wondered to what lengths Volkswagen goes to create Farfetch-Nugan, a trip to Volkswagen's Era Lucene Proving Ground will show you the amount of effort taken daily to make Farfetch-Nugan come to life in every car we build. every day at Europe's biggest automobile test site and one of the largest in the world, the Era Lucene Proving Ground located in Era Lucene, West Germany. To obtain consistent results from automobile testing, the vehicles must be driven on a variety of different road surfaces without restriction. The 12 and a half million test miles clocked up each year would overtax the public highways as well as increase the risk of accidents. Every type of road, both straight and crooked and flat and bumpy, has been reconstructed on the test site 62 miles in all within the 6.8 square mile facility. The Speedway. A 13 mile stretch of three lane Autobahn permits maximum speeds of close to 220 miles per hour. It's designed as a circuit with two curves banked up to 42 degrees, allowing cornering up to 125 miles per hour without lateral acceleration. The circuit is officially recognized as a world record track. Alpine mountain roads are recreated on the climbing course built over a 40-acre terrain. The hill has grades ranging from 5% to 32%. Here on the North German Plains, the circuit with its multiple bends simulates most of the road conditions encountered in mountainous country. Forty-six miles of poor road surfaces of every kind. The track is designed to reproduce the average road. Every section of it has been copied from some original public highway to create realistic test conditions. Bumps of various sizes, dangerous bends, pothole tracks, basalt set, block paving, bumpy curves, cambered and uneven road surfaces, as well as pavements worn by heavy traffic. The third degree, a condensed test road for obtaining quick test results, a torture track for any vehicle, laid out as a circuit in mirror symmetry so as to avoid unequal vehicle stress loading. The dynamic test area, 550 square yards, absolutely flat and without any joins for all types of extreme testing. The day-to-day -day routine on the proving ground, loading vehicles for operational and endurance testing. 110 vehicles are out on the circuit today, each with a precisely specified route program. A test driver prepares his vehicle for a 62,000 mile test run. The rules of the road apply here just as on the public highway. All areas of the proving ground can be reached by service drives. All roads are laid out as one-way streets because cars are driven here at high speeds.
stress and strain on the car is immense. All the test results and data, the driver's objective and subjective impressions are registered and evaluated after each drive. Any fault occurring in a vehicle sold is one fault too many. The endurance proving circuit holds a number of hazards in store for the test vehicles. These soon show up any weaknesses, for example, in chassis tuning. The hill climb is an integral part of the endurance test. Once an hour, the test vehicles have to negotiate it. The steep incline enables engines and transmissions to be tuned with or without trailer operation, as well as evaluations such as engine heat output, optimum radiator size, and wear and tear on the clutch. On inclines up to 30%, drive-away characteristics are tested. The inner circuit serves the purpose of corrosion testing, too. In a predetermined sequence, the cars drive over loose chippings and pass saltwater spraying installations. They have to endure the salt spray chamber, as well as drive through the mud bath and survive tropical heat and arctic cold. In between, the locks and hinges are checked for smooth working. Off they go again on road trials. One test is designed to simulate the corrosion effects a vehicle has to stand up to throughout its life. Not all the staff on the proving ground are test drivers. Their colleagues from the track security division screen all visitors to the area. Secrecy is the order of the day. The maintenance crews responsible for the upkeep on the 62-mile road network are just as efficiently equipped as their counterparts on public highways. On hot days, Fire watchers keep an eye on the entire terrain from a number of watchtowers. There's a strict ban on smoking anywhere on the proving grounds. In addition, there's a special fleet of emergency vehicles as well as firefighters. The control center is the focal point of the proving ground, and all activities can be monitored from here. The dense track of the proving ground operates a series of really tricky obstacles. Vehicles driven here spend their whole service life in third degree torture. A Passat is shown on the hydraulic pulse stand. All of the unevenness of the condensed test circuit is stored in computer memory. The car body is subjected to stresses comparable to those sustained on the proving ground. In only a few days, the stresses on individual vehicle components and structural elements can be simulated in the hydraulic pulse stand and other test facilities. One hundred and eighty hours spent on the test stand correspond to about five thousand miles on the condensed torture track. the sort of treatment the average vehicle receives in its whole normal service life. You can test a lot of things on the test stand, but you can't substitute either the human element, road conditions, or environmental influences in this way. The condensed test road telescopes the necessary data like a time-lapse film. 
but the strain on the driver is also very high, so he has to take a half hour break after every hour of test driving. Here, the test driver negotiates the inner circuit for the fifth time today. By the end of his shift, he'll have driven 460 miles. A special test on the ABS course. The anti-lock braking system considerably enhances active vehicle safety, so a track is specially dedicated to it. Five rounds on the speedway add up to 65 track miles. Tests are carried out in all speed ranges up to top speed. The speedway facilitates measurements of various kinds, for example, acceleration, terminal speed, fuel consumption, braking behavior, noise level, and thermal output. The banked curves are designed to be driven at speeds up to 125 miles per hour without lateral acceleration. On this track, the driver can actually release the steering wheel and the car will automatically follow the ideal path. It often rains, and this is an advantage as far as testing goes. After all, there isn't only a demand for good weather cars, and so they test cars on the road in all conditions. Two hundred test drivers are always on call for special test series or for individual trials in three shifts around the clock. Twelve and a half million test miles a year on a proving ground with a unique variety of facilities. Today, more than ever before, success depends on finding the technically optimum solution to a given problem, whether it concerns vehicle safety, durability, corrosion protection, or fuel economy. That's why, when others are on their way to bed, the test drivers continue to work through the night on Volkswagen's Aerolysine Vehicle Proving Ground to provide a dependable, quality product for you.